Okay, so let's continue with our uh, Kafka Python tutorial series. And in the last video, we have see, seen the Python code and in which we have uh, created the producer class and we did some hands-on and we run our producer application, which produces some message. So let me quickly show you. So this is our producer uh, like file. We created the producer, producer class. We connected, uh, we define it like uh, create some instance of the producer and we are using the confluent kafka right and we have passive bootstrap server because we need to connect the producer with the uh, kafka cluster and then we create a like uh, uh, another dev another function send message and in, in which we are using the produce function of the producer class to send some message right and uh, because the producer need to send uh, the message to the Kafka topic, so the topic should be exist. So we create one more uh, file admin, which is going to just create a topic and it is going to just check whether the topic exists or not. So we covered that. Now come to the consumer class. So let's create a like uh, one file called consumer.py. Right, so we have created a consumer.py. So let's go to the official documentation. So in the official documentation, let me scroll up. So you can click on the consumer. And if you see, we have to import our consumer class from uh, Confluent Kafka. So let's import. Uh, and along with that, so you can like uh, go to your GitHub documentation. You can see here as well from Con Confluent Kafka import consumer. So let's do that. From Confluent Kafka import consumer. And uh, we will define some class consumer class and we will define the init method right okay so we will define the init method and init method so let me go to my diagram so let me go to the kafka consumer and let me quickly okay let me show you the diagram here so we have the producer we so this kafka cluster we already make it up producer we already done that admin client we are also completed and now come to the consumer. So consumer also to consume the message from the from the Kafka cluster. Consumer needs to connect with the Kafka cluster, right? So that's why we are creating a class. So so self dot consumer is equal to consumer, right? So self dot consumer is equal to consumer. But is it okay, or do we need do we need to pass something else? So let's go to that. So consumer class is going to take some parameter, and parameter is in a form of a dictionary. And uh, the two parameters are mandatory. One is bootstrap server, which is fine because bootstrap server is also mandatory in the admin client. And uh, along with that, the so we have to pass one second. We have to pass bootstrap dot servers. So self dot boot strap server so we are going to pass this uh, bootstrap server dynamically bootstrap server right okay and uh, what next uh, parameter is required it, it it also required the group dot id so let's accept the group id as well and we are going to pass group id so group dot id is equal to self dot group id and here self dot boot strap server is equal to bootstrap server and self dot group id is equal to group id fine and bootstrap server is just the url or the endpoint of our kafka cluster but what is group id so group id like we have like in one of the video i give you one example like uh for the multi-processing to consume multiple message uh we can create a consumer group all right so consumer can consume the message in a, in a group as well so if we create a consumer group in which we have like multiple consumers so one consumer is going to consume only from one partition and other consumer is going to uh, on from another partition and another offset so if one consumer already consumed from one offset from same partition thus another consumer is not going to consume the same message again so that's why we have to give some ID. So this is called a group ID. Just for the timing, uh, consider like it is a like a, 
uh, must uh, argument. So that's why we are passing. And what is the syntax? We can come here and we can check. Okay, bootstrap server going to add. We are not using auto offset reset because this is not a mandatory parameter. All this like currently we are just uh, like uh, learning some basic classes only. And all these parameter auto offset reset or what is earliest, what is latest, all these extra arguments we are going to cover in the further classes. Okay, so we have done that. Okay, so now consumer has to consume the message. So let's uh, create uh, some uh, consume messages. All right, so consumer has to consume the message. So consumer should be always uh, keep up and running, right? So if I go to the diagram, all right, so consumer should because producer, uh, we don't, the consumer doesn't know when the producer is going to send the message, right? So whenever the producer is going to be a uh, producer will send the message, when the producer is going to be a producer is going to send the message. But we can't down the consumer, right? Consumer needs to be always up and running, right? So always up and running means, so consumer need to be in some in while loop, while tr true, always like it should be always keep and running. And it will, it always keep checking, Okay, do we have any message? If it is any message, uh, okay, let me consume. If there is any message, let me consume. If there is any message, let me consume. Right. So it has also needs to like uh, keep check, uh, keep checking. So how how it is going to check? So there is a one method called poll method. Oh, let me show you poll method. So you could see consumes a single message and calls back and return event. So it is going to, there is a consume message, uh, like there is a consume function as well, but uh, consume function is going to consume a list of message, but uh, we are going to like uh, use poll method. Poll method is going to consume a single message at a time. So how we will do? So we will do in a try block and then while true, and it is going to read some message. And who is going to read the message? Consumer is going to read the message using which function? Poll function. Is poll is going to take any argument? Yes, poll is going to take some argument timeout. So by default, we are going to give one second and the timeout is in a second. So timeout is basically like uh, how much second uh, it is going to wait, right? Uh, to like, if it is going to poll, how much second it is going to wait. So we have pulled the message. Now, uh, let's let's suppose producer is, uh, one second, let's suppose, uh, a consumer is up, producer is up, but producer is not sending the message, but consumer is still polling it, right? So consumer is still polling it. Consumer poll it and then nothing is come. So if there is no message, then what do we have to take? So if message is none, do we need to return? No, we don't need to return. We need to we need to make our consumer up. So we will we will still keep continue. Okay. If there is an error, let's suppose if trying to consume something and it is an error. So how we are going to know whether there is, there is an error? So there is a message object which we are consuming. So if message dot error, if there is an error, it means there is a, there is some error. So we are going to handle that condition as well. So if message dot error, then we can print some error. Print error while consuming message. And what was the error? Message dot error. Okay, but if there is an error, it is going to stop. No, consumer is not going to stop. It will still like uh, going continue, continue. Okay, if otherwise, but it will do. It will just print the message. Okay, uh, received message. The spelling of received. Okay, or you can say message consumed. message consumed and what is the message message and we know uh, let me make our kafka cluster up one second and docker compose up so when we are publishing our like a message into the kafka cluster we have the key we have the value so the key is nothing uh, key is just some unique id and value is our actual data so we need to like read our value from the message we need to read our value okay so that's why we are like passing this value parameter uh now it's done and if we have to stop our like a uh, uh, consumer then we can interrupt and after that we have pulse along with that along with that there is a one uh, one function called close 
so close down and terminate the consumer so stops consuming so when we have to like uh, if a mess is going to be interrupted consumer instance is still there right so we need to close that so we can say finally a self dot consumer dot close so we, we are going to close our consumer okay now let's create that if name equal to main it is going to be same let me just copy paste that so our bootstrap server will remain same and yeah that's it and now we are going to create our consumer consumer class and it is going to take a bootstrap server it is going to take it uh, okay we need to pass our topic as well we need to pass our topic topic and uh, why we need to do that because how the consumer is going to know from which topic it needs to be consumed from which to topic it needs to be consumed and we have mentioned one we forget to mention one thing uh so consume messages consume messages so before consuming the message we need to subscribe to the topic so if you see there is a function called subscribe so we need to subscribe to the topic basically the consumer should know because there could be multiple topics right so in from which topic it need to be read the message so self dot consumer dot subscribe okay and it is going to take a topic and topic is a list of things so we need to give a list and self dot topic so we are going to pass that topic parameter as well and we can take self dot topic is equal to topic and so topic will be there we can pass the group id so it could be any 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 anything my group id and we have to pass the group id okay so we have created a like uh, object now we have to uh, like uh, call this function consume messages all right so now we have to like uh, call this function so hopefully it is like uh, okay so let's try that so we need to start our producer and consumer side by side so let me check so our kafka cluster is up so currently we don't have the topic so let me uh, up the producer python okay python producer dot py so my producer has been up and uh, uh, test topic has been created because we are like a because producer has to send some message and the topic should be exist so it's created the topic and let's uh, make our consumer up as well python consumer dot py so now consumer has been up but till now there is no message so let's uh, publish some message hey how are you as soon as we send some message and if we come here it should it should automatically consume so we send the message here it come to the kafka cluster we can go to the kafka cluster as well it come to the kafka cluster hey how are you and because consumer already subscribed to this topic test topic and our consumer consume this message but if you notice consumer is uh, like consuming the message and that's why like there is one thing uh, we have the key we have the value in and in our code if you remember i am using message dot value because when it read the message it is going to read a lot of parameter it is going to read offset it is going to read headers it is going to read partition it is going to read timestamp it is going to read key it is going to read value so many like uh, things because in the message so many data will become but what what data is useful for us currently we we are going to read some value so hey how are you so so let's try to publish some message because consumer is still up right so consumer is going to be still up uh, this is hey how are you i am good what about you we send the message it automatically consume but you know you see we are getting some b here so b means in the terms of like python we have the bytes so byte is also okay but if you want to convert byte to string you need to decode using utf8 so you can decode that 
and uh, let me start our consumer again and let me send one more message okay what's the plan so now you could see i am not getting and like any more b prefix b means like because it was consuming the message in the form of bytes but now i am not getting any b because i convert i decode the message from bytes to scene which is a normal python syntax if you have uh, even in the python interview question if they ask okay you have the bytes how, how you are going to convert byte to a string so you can use the okay i am going to use the decode method all right so we have like uh, done that so if we just uh, stop this and it's not going to be consume anything, right? So we can stop this as well, right? So consumer class uh, has been completed and our code is perfectly ready. So when it consumes the message, it doesn't mean it is it, it is going to remove from the topic. No, it's, it is not going to be removed from the topic because it could be any other consumer which also need right? Along with that, it depends when it's going to remove it from the like a retention period. All right, so how many uh, after how many days like the message is going to be recited into this topic? So based upon number of factor, it's going to be recited here. So that's it. Uh, that's the end of the video. So in the coming video, we are going to cover. Let's see what we are going to cover. Yeah. So till now we are sending some text message. We are not like idly in actual project when you are start working in an actual project you are not going to send the message in some dummy formatted right so you are like we are sending the message in like a, if you noticed here we are sending the message in text format right so here value is text and the message size size is 18 byte and we are not even sending the key but in the actual actual project you have to send the key but forget about the key but the value the value format generally, generally either we use JSON or either we use uh, Avro or either we use Protobuf. So now we are going to see, okay, how we are going to send in a form of a JSON or Avro. So that we are going to cover in the some next video. So that's it. Uh, thank you.